Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to this YouTube channel 30CAGR. For many days, people have been asking me to make a video on our intraday options trading bot. So I thought I will make a detailed video and explain them all the features available uh, so that people who are new to this channel also will get benefited. Of course, if you are someone who has already been using this bot, it will not be much useful. But uh, for newcomers and people looking to automate their trades, it will be immensely helpful. So let's go ahead and see what this trading bot is and how to use this for intraday options trading. Before that, let me give a little bit of background why I have developed this. Uh, these days, many option traders are trading in intraday short straddles and strangles uh, after backtesting on platforms like Stockmark. Uh, for them, this bot helps significantly in automating their trades. In my last video also, I told that it is not the strategy that gives you the profit, but it's the execution process. It's the execution method that make or break the deal. You need to have an automated way that works laser fast if you want to earn profits in time-based strategies like intraday straddles and strangles. So I'm going to show you how to use this simple bot and automate your trades. And I'm also going to give you a bonus at the end of the video. I will reveal how to get this bot absolutely for free of cost for lifetime. So stay tuned till the end of the video. And if you are a beginner, then go to my blog 30cagr.com. This is my blog. And in this, you find something called my strategies. And in that you have two strategies. One is called ISS and the other is called PDR. If you are a beginner, then you can watch this ISS strategy. I explained everything from scratch uh, about this strategy and why it will give us profits in long run. I explained with some statistical proofs. So make sure you watch this ISS strategy uh, four part series. And of course, I also have another strategy called PDR, which is into short term equity trading. If you are interested, feel free to watch this as well. It works as a good diversification strategy for your overall portfolio. So if there are any advanced option traders who are looking to diversify their portfolio, then they can watch this PDR strategy as well. All right. So with that background, let's get started. This is the trading board that I was talking about. Um, a very simple interface. First, we will see what are the options that we have in the left hand menu. First is the strategies in that you can see currently we have only one strategy uh, that is short straddles and strangles and then we have something called brokers. This is the page where you connect this trading bot with your trading terminal. We come back to this later and then we also have profile settings. You can see your phone number, email ID and the subscription date and then the logout. That's it. Very simple. And the two most important pages out of these four are one is a straddle where we give instructions to the bot at what time our strategy needs to be entered, at what time we have to exit, what is a stop loss, styling stop loss and all other things. And then the second is the brokers page. As I said, this is the page where we connect this bot with the trading terminal. So first, let's look at the straddle. First things first. If you are an advanced option trader, you are probably trading in intraday short straddles and strangles already, right? What we do in these time based strategies is we short a call option, we short a put option at a particular time, and then we exit at a particular time with a specified stop loss or trailing stop loss, right? For that, all you have to do is just hit on this pencil icon. It gives you a lot of options to change. Now I'm going to explain you each and every option here. First is the symbol. You don't need to change this. Uh, you have this bot developed for Nifty and Bank Nifty. So symbol Nifty is already fixed here and it's pre-populated. You don't need to change this. And even the expiry also, uh, this is also auto-populated. We only trade in current weekly expiry for now. Maybe in future, I will give an option to change the expiry as well. But since most of the people trade in current weekly expiry, uh, this will be auto changed. You don't need to do anything. Every Friday, this date gets refreshed. And then we have an option to enter number of short straddles. Based on your capital, you can enter how many ever 
uh, straddles you want to trade in let's say for nifty we need approximately a capital of 1.5 lakh of course this keeps changing based on volatility and other factors but uh, let us say nifty needs 1.5 lakh for one short straddle if you have 6 lakhs you can pick 4 here or if you have uh, a capital of let's say 3 lakhs then you can choose 2 here okay so you can change this number of short straddles based on your capital and then the next one is entry time uh, whatever is your entry time let's say your straddle is 920 straddle so you have to just put 920 here and this bot exactly fires the order one call option cell and put option cell exactly at 9:20 a.m likewise you also can define exit time if you give 15 10 here it means at 3 10 this bot will exit whatever open positions you have in your trading terminal all right now let us see some advanced options like batches entry interval and exit interval now if you have a huge capital let's say you have 15 lakhs capital and you can obviously trade in 10 short straddles right it is not a good idea to enter all 10 short straddles at once like if you have entry time as 920 and if you enter all 10 short straddles at 920 and that day if market moves in both the directions you might have losses uh, in both the sides in both the legs at the same time since you have entered 10 short straddles you might end up with huge loss so in general what we do is we diversify our capital into different strategies so maybe two or three straddles you enter at 920 and another three sets you enter at 10 o'clock and then last four sets you enter at 11 o'clock uh, i know that many people diversify their entire capital into various strategies so what i have done here is i have simply given uh, an option called batches so let us say your number of lots are 10 and your batches are 5 what this bot does is it does a simple division uh, it understands that it has to take 10 short straddles but divide that into 5 batches which means in each batch it will take two short straddles right it is an instruction that we are giving to the bot saying i want to take 10 short straddles but i don't want to enter at once so divide my total quantity into five batches okay so in each batch a uh, bot will trade in two short straddles now the next thing that the bot asks us is what should be the time difference between two batches right it knows that it has to take in five batches but it also needs to know what should be the difference between two batches first batch will get executed at 9 20 because this is the entry time that you have given and then there is an option called entry interval if you give entry interval as let's say 20 minutes then the bot enters first batch at 9 20 it trades in two short straddles as per our quantity and then the next batch which is next to two straddles it will wait for 20 minutes and then it trades at 940 and then the third batch it executes at 10 o'clock it again waits for 20 minutes and then it executes at 10 o'clock another two straddles and then the fourth batch at 1020 and then fifth batch at 1040 all right so this is how the bot executes and one key point to note here is every time it executes a batch it will freshly check for nifty spot price and whatever is the atm strike price at that particular time it will enter as per that particular strike price okay uh, this is how back testing softwares like stockmock show us the results when we combine the strategies so this bot also exactly does the same thing whatever is the current spot price at that particular entry time of that particular batch it calculates the strike price and then it enters freshly at that premium and all the stop losses and trailing stop losses are also calculated as per the entry price and just like we have entry interval we also have exit interval uh, it divides into five batches 
and then you can define what is the uh, exit interval difference that you want to have uh, for these five batches if it is one minute then it will start exiting two short straddles at 310 and then it will wait for one minute and again at 311 it will execute two more short straddles at 312 313 and then finally at 314 it will exit last to two pairs of short straddles now some people what they want to do is they want to have different entry times but they don't want different exits they want to exit all straddles at once in that case you can simply give exit interval as zero okay and finally uh, before we move further if you have capital to just trade with uh, uh, one short straddle then it doesn't matter what entry interval uh, you give you can give any entry interval and any exit interval because anyways entry will happen only once um, as per your entry time so you can give any entry interval and exit interval and then we have an option called strike range this is the place where you can instruct the bot what strike price you would like to take let's say nifty is trading at 17,000 now if you give strike range as zero then it will take 17,000 call option and 17,000 put option which means you are asking the bot to take add the money call option and put option some people want to trade in otm uh, call option and put option which means basically they want to trade in strangles instead of straddles in that case you have to give the strike range let us say you gave strike range as 100 what the bot does is it checks what's the current market price at your entry time let us say at 920 uh, the current market price is 17000 it adds 100 points for call option and it deducts 100 points for put option so 17100 call option will be picked and 16900 put option will be picked by the bot immediately it sells 17100 call option and it sells 16900 put option likewise you can give 200 300 500 or even 1000 strike range also uh, whatever strike range that you give bot executes your trades as per the value and one other thing to note here you can even give itm values as well instead of 100 let's say you have given minus 100 so instead of adding 100 points to call option it will deduct 100 points for call option and then for put option it will add 100 points this is for advanced traders some people they trade in itm call option and itm put option basically they trade in inverted strangles so for them they also can give negative values also and then uh, sl type will always be sl limit since nsc has suspended uh, sl market orders uh, we only will have sl limit order and uh, sl limit percentage so this is basically the stop loss that you would like to define for your call option and put option remember whatever value that you mention here it is the individual stop loss for call option and put option there is no relation between both the legs if you give 30 percent then individual 30 percent stop loss will be applied to call option and 30 percent stop loss will be applied to put option as well okay and then sll difference uh, since NSE has suspended SL market orders, now we have to place SL limit orders only. And as you know, whenever we place limit orders, we need to give two prices. One is a trigger price and the other is called price or limit price, right? So this is the difference that you give for uh, limit price and trigger price, okay? Generally, I suggest people to give 50 points for Nifty and uh, maybe 80 to 100 points for Bank Nifty. Uh, this ensures that your stop loss orders are executed and of course some people will give lesser difference also like 10 points or 20 points it's up to them you can give any value that you want and one other thing worth mentioning about this is earlier we know that there were some freak trades happened when we had sl market orders right now that slm orders are no more there the frequency of these freak trades happening has come down a lot and then we also have an option uh, for trailing uh, your trade as well let me explain how this trailing works the normal concept of trailing is when your stock moves into profit we reduce the stop loss as well right that's the general definition of trailing stop loss here also it works in the same way let us say you have taken a call option at 100 rupees and 
for trialing to happen this bot will ask us two things one is trial range x and the other is trial sl y now let us see what is this x percent and y percent before that you have defined your stop loss as 30 percent right so your entry is at 100 and your initial stop loss is 130 because your sl is 30 percent as per your parameters in the bot now if you give 10 percent as trial range that means bot will understand that once your 100 rupees call option it comes into 10 percent profit then this entire trialing concept will begin 10 percent profit here means your 100 rupees option should become 90. now once the position reaches 90 rupees it will trial the stop loss of 130 but how much should it trail right that's the second input you have to give here also you have given 10 percent as the input which means 10 percent of 130 is 13 points right so once your position reaches 90 rupees it will trail the stop loss to 117 please remember a point here 10 percent that you give in x column is the percentage of entry value here the entry price is 100 right so this x percentage is the percentage of your entry price whereas this y percentage that you give here is the percentage of initial stop loss okay here the initial stop loss is 130 so 10 percent of 130 is 13 points right so 13 points is y and then 10 points is x now some people ask me how will the subsequent trailing happens right okay this is the first trailing when the stock reaches uh, from 100 rupees to 90 rupees first trailing will happen but what about the subsequent trailing next trailing uh, a key point to note here is first the bot will calculate the percentage and then converts that percentage into points right in this case it converts this 10 percent into 10 points and then this, it converts this y percentage also into points and in this case 13 points right now first time when our stock reaches from 100 rupees to 90 rupees stop loss also reaches from 130 to 117 right 10 points fall here 13 points fall here second time again it has to fall 10 points which means it has to become 80 rupees and this also reduces by 13 points which means it becomes 104 next time it has to become 70 and then this becomes 91 so a key point you need to remember here is first time when you enter percentage here bot converts that percentage into points and every time stock falls by that number of points trailing also happens accordingly right so this is all about trailing Again, this trialing is also individual for call option and uh, put option. Uh, if you give 10% uh, and 10% for X and Y, for both call option it is 10 and 10 and for put option also it is 10 and 10. And then the next is order type. You can choose uh, whichever order type you want. If you select NRML, bot will send NRML orders. If you select MIS, bot will send MIS orders. And last but not the least, very, very important option. You can also choose on what all days a particular strategy has to run let us say this strategy you want to run only on monday tuesday wednesday and thursday you don't want to run it on friday for some reason you have some other strategy for friday you can simply uncheck this friday and then update batches cannot be greater than lots of course if you have one lot then the batch should also be one only uh, lots can be more but obviously batches cannot be more so if you hit on update then you can see that the selected days is only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. Now, if you want to have another strategy for Friday, you can simply hit on this add new strategy option and it will add another strategy for you. Okay. So let me show you just hit on add new strategy. And again, you have to pick symbol whether nifty or bank nifty. Just say one and one for example. 
and 10 a.m. is your entry time and 11 a.m. is your exit time. 50% is the stop loss and 20% is trial range X and 20% trial range Y. Now remove the selection for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and check mark only Friday and just hit on add. Now you can see that another strategy that is nifty strategy is added only for Friday with your new parameters. This way you can add unlimited strategies uh, for nifty and bank nifty. Okay, please note that there is no limit. You can add as many strategies as you want for nifty or bank nifty. Now another option that you need to know here is we have a column called status. This column actually tells you whether a bot is enabled for a particular strategy or not. In this case, it is enabled for all three strategies, right? Two nifty and one bank nifty. But let us say you don't want to trade for bank nifty. All you have to do is just come and hit on this red color button and it will ask you for confirmation. Are you sure you want to disable? Just say yes. And you can see that the strategy is disabled for bank nifty. Again, if you want to enable, hit on this green color button and it will again ask you, are you sure you want to enable? Just say yes. And it is enabled again. Okay. Don't go by the coloring. You might get confused. So just go by the status. Okay. Whether the bot is enabled or disabled. So this is all about uh, various features available in the trading bot. And uh, one more option that you have is exit. Let us say you saw a very good profit in your account and you want to exit the position before your exit time. Okay. Uh, if you take this example, 920 is our entry time and 310 is our exit time, right? But you want to exit before 310. Let us say at two o'clock, you see that there is a very good profit in your account. So all you have to do is just hit on exit all nifty. It will ask for confirmation. Just say exit and it will exit all nifty positions in your account. Remember bot exits all nifty positions irrespective of from which strategy it is. Let us say uh, on that particular day you have three nifty strategies. It will exit all three nifty strategies. Uh, currently we don't have an option to exit for individual strategy. Very shortly uh, under this actions column I'm going to give you individual exit as well so that if you want to exit in for individual strategy you can hit on that or if you want to exit nifty for all the strategies let us say there is some uh, big fall in market due to some news and you want to exit all nifty at that time you can simply hit on this exit all and it will exit all nifty positions likewise you also have exit all bank nifty and let us say uh, you want to exit both nifty and bank nifty for some reason whether you see some good profit or there is some uh, big crash happening in the market you want to exit all your positions then you can simply hit on exit both the bot will exit all the positions that it has taken okay and we are also adding some advanced features to this bot like uh, mtm based entry and exit let us say you want to exit the strategy once your profit is 1500 rupees or your loss is 1500 rupees right so we are going to add those features as well strategy based target and stop loss so irrespective of which leg is giving you the profit once the strategy gets 1500 rupees profit or 1500 rupees loss uh, then you can exit based on the parameters that you set here so a lot of advanced features are also coming and all of those will be included in this bot and before we move to brokers page one important thing you need to make a note of we have various fail safe mechanisms in the back end as soon as you enter into the trades let us say your entry time is 9:20 as soon as bot takes entry it also sends the stop loss okay we send stop loss to the exchange as soon as we enter into the trade this has a lot of advantages let us say after your entry uh, there is some problem uh, from your broker or let us say there is some problem from this bot of course technical glitches from this bot is very very unlikely but let us say you have some issue from your broker or this bot since your stop loss orders are already sitting in the exchange your trades are safe for that particular day okay and uh, now let us say your broker for some reason has cancelled your stop losses right in that case we have something called backup stop loss mechanism let us say 
you entered into the trade at 100 rupees and your initial stop loss is 130. So as soon as we enter into the trade, we send this 130 rupees stop loss also to the exchange. Now for some reason, exchange or your broker has cancelled this in your terminal. Now what happens? If stock reaches to 130, you might not be there in front of the terminal and your losses might be extended since this option goes higher and higher beyond 130. At that point of time, what happens is this bot has a backup stop loss mechanism which kicks in and as soon as the price reaches 130, this bot checks whether there is an open position or not. If there is an open position, immediately it will exit at market price. Okay, so these kinds of backup stop loss mechanisms are deployed. And the second thing that I would like to mention is, let us say a uh, capital required for one short straddle is 1.5 lakh, but in your account, you only have, uh, let us say 1.2 lakh or 1.3 lakh. Generally what happens is in such a scenario, when this bot tries to fire orders for both call option and put option, one leg gets executed and the other leg will be rejected by the broker. All right. In that case, what this bot does is it identifies that, you know, there is a margin shortfall and the broker has accepted only one order and immediately it will exit that order also and come out of the trade completely. All right. It's very dangerous to trade with only one leg, right? So bot identifies that and then it exits the other leg as well and comes out of the trade completely. So these kinds of fail safe mechanisms are implemented in the back end to make sure that your trading system is very robust and most of the emergency scenarios are very well taken care of. And one last thing before we enter into brokers page, I have given a detailed video explaining about each of these individual fields and in the brokers page also I have given a detailed video on you know how to configure this bot with your trading terminal so after you get the credentials all you have to do is just watch these videos it is very simple and it takes less than 10 to 15 minutes one other thing i forgot to mention you can also delete the strategy if you wish to just hit on delete button and it will be deleted uh, please note that the delete button will not be there for the default strategies. Okay, these two are the default strategies. If you don't want them, you can simply disable them, but you can't delete these two strategies. Okay, if you add any additional strategies, you have an option to delete them. And with that, now let's move to brokers page. As I said, this is a very simple page. All you have to do is uh, uh, just hit on the action button and give a few details here and uh, your trading bot will be configured with your trading terminal. Uh, you also have an option to test the connection. Uh, all you have to do is after you do the configuration, just hit on test button and it will say whether your configuration is successful or not. As I said, you can just go and watch this video. I'm not going to explain how this happens because it's a very easy process. All right. Now the most important thing, as I promised, I'm going to reveal how you can get this bot for free of cost. You can get this bot absolutely for free of cost for your lifetime. This is not for one year or two years. You can get this absolutely free for lifetime by opening uh, your trading account using my referral ID. That is all you have to do. Uh, just open an account using my referral ID. Um, I put the referral IDs in the description below. Uh, you can take the referral IDs and uh, you can get this bot free for lifetime. But before you open an account, I suggest you to just WhatsApp me once and uh, then you can open. Uh, I will give uh, contact details of that particular broking form in case if you uh, are stuck somewhere at the documentation process, then you can make use of those contact numbers. So you can WhatsApp me uh, once before opening the account. On the screen, you have my WhatsApp number. I will also put this in the description. And if you wish to follow me, uh, I also have a couple of social handles, Telegram and Twitter. You can follow me for all the latest updates. In case if I add more strategies, I am actually planning to add more strategies like buy straddles, buy strangles and some other innovative tools to this trading bot. Uh, if you wish to know about all these things, then you can follow me on social handle. And remember, whoever gets this trading bot free for lifetime, they also get all the future innovative tools that I'm going to introduce for options trading. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. Hope uh, it is useful. In case if you have any more questions, you can WhatsApp me on the number displayed on the screen.
Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.